Kelly Hoppen. I've been designing homes since I was 16 and a half and I'm truly passionate about it. I love walking into a room that's got nothing in it and imagining what it could be. This is the do's and don'ts. This are the little tips, the little tricks, the little things that I've learned that I really want people to be able to use something that each one of you will be able to relate to that becomes a part of who you want to be in your home. What's at the heart of great design is creating an environment that almost when you walk into that space you don't see everything at once. It's a bit like baking a cake, it's a recipe. You have to add all the different layers to design to, to create the overall effect. My design is all about texture in every single aspect of it. Linen for me is what is my favorite fabric. Quintessentially linen is my look. It's what I started with when I first started in business. It was the only fabrics that I could afford to use. If you play around with fabrics in front of you, you will see how a color will offset something else. If you put a white in, it will make it brighter. If you put a gray in it, it will make it duller. If you add a bit of turquoise, it brightens it up again. Well, my classic colour scheme is using all these neutrals and taupes and creams and whites and I just find them incredibly soothing and harmonious and for me they are the perfect neutrals, the basics for any interior because you can then add any splash of colour and it works brilliantly. There are so many different ways that you can design. You can have old interiors and you can put modern pieces in it. You can have a minimalist room and you can have an antique sideboard. You can have beautiful old pieces of art, but you can have modern interiors. It's all about the juxtaposition of different ways of designing. With small rooms, some people like to have them small, so they'll make them very cozy. The thing about making a room feel bigger is to make it lighter. What people tend to do is put a, too much in the room or they put tiny little furniture in which then makes the room look small. So you've almost got to go the opposite. Oversized furniture in a room can actually make the room feel larger. So in a kitchen, you could have a very long table, amazing big oversized chairs at the end, very simple chairs down the side. So immediately you've got all these different textures going on. And then where you would think you would have maybe a row of much smaller pendants hanging above, I've gone for massive oversized pendants, just three of them. That gives you such drama in the room and that will make the room look much bigger. You can change the look of your room in a very less expensive way than thinking that you have to completely rip everything out and start again. You could add wonderful test tube vases and put different flowers in. You could put maybe a different rug. You could put up lighters behind sofas to give a different kind of look. Lighting is everything, it's like magic dust, you know, you can have all the best fabrics, all the best pieces of furniture, all the best everything, and if you haven't got your lighting right, it's a disaster. It's like putting your makeup on and not having any lighting, you don't see it. Now, not everyone will be able to rip up the floorboards and put new lighting in, but you can buy wonderful small little up lighters that you can place all over a home, and again, it's trial and error, buy a few, place them up, tiny little lights just behind an object. Ultimately, what you're doing, it's like theatre. You're creating the stage and you are now going to live in it. So all these tips are literally providing you with the ability to create the perfect stage for you to live your life in.